Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, looking out of the window today, I can see the snow is on the ground and uh, it's glistening with frost on the top. It looks quite icy, kind of like a wedding cake, but without the wedding, maybe. Um, very beautiful, very beautiful. It's uh, it's about half an inch thick. I don't know what that is in the metric system. I would guess in maybe, say, a centimeter, perhaps. It's just like a blanket lying gently over the grass. Uh, the truck has been around to grit the roads. Grit, that's those little stones to clear away the snow. You know the ones, if you if you walk... Uh, on the road, you can you can get them stuck on your shoes. It's, it's like little brown stones to help clear the snow away for the sake of the traffic. It's certainly very cold, uh, but yes, it, it kind of looks like a Christmas card outside. Uh, it has a nice, beautiful scene. Um, so yes, very nice, very nice. Um... Speaking of winter, one of my favorite songs from um, the movie Pretty Woman is It Must Have Been Love. And if you've listened to this song, it's by Roxette. It was a big hit here in the 1980s or 90s. Uh, the song lyrics are, lay a whisper on my pillow, leave the winter on the ground. And she says it in such a way that it sounds like leave the winds uh, on the ground. And uh, yeah, I've been following this internet forum recently where everyone's trying to work out what the song means, leave the winter on the ground. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? So you see, even for us, especially with song lyrics, we don't always understand them. There's quite a few songs in English that... I hear the lyrics and I think, what? <laughs> what what does that even mean? Leave the winter on the ground. And then she says in this song, uh, it must have been love, she says, I wake up lonely, this air of silence in the bedroom and all around. Leave the winter on the ground. I've no idea what she's talking about there. Was the movie American? It might be an Americanism, maybe. It might be an Americanism. Well, anyway, it's a nice breakup song. But getting back to the weather and my window. Yeah, so my, my window has has some ice on the outside. And there is a kind of cold air by the window. I opened the curtains... Uh, when I got up this morning and uh, immediately had to step back as this cold air came straight towards me. Mm. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Well, a few things to tell you today. Uh, first of all, a few of you have been asking me to do shadowing recordings, recordings where uh, you can shadow my voice. Just to recap on that, shadowing is... Uh, when you listen to a native speaker and you repeat what he says, you imitate what he says. Um, the reason for doing that would be uh, to try to talk like a native speaker, to increase your speed, to get your sound right. That's the purpose of it. Um, so it should really be done with anything that you find, as long as it's British, of course, if you're looking for a British accent, or with an American, if you're looking for an American accent, because you'll be imitating these sounds. So um, I I'm happy to do some shadow recordings, and I'll upload them along with this podcast. But what I want to tell you is you shouldn't really be slowing down the recording or asking someone to speak slowly in order to shadow with their voice because people are asking me because they they're either trying to understand what I'm saying and for shadowing 
that's not important, of course, because you only want to be imitating my sounds. So if you hear ba 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 ba, you simply repeat it. Uh, or perhaps uh, they they want to do it because um, they think if I if I speak slowly or more clearly, they can capture the sounds easily. Um, I'm happy to do it, but it probably would be better if you just choose anything, okay, anything which has a natural rhythm. You don't really want to be expecting someone to speak slower just so you can hear them. It kind of defeats the purpose. What you want to be doing is just jumping in with the way people speak normally. However, I'm happy to oblige, so I will do a couple of shadowing recordings after this one, and I'll upload them. And if you think it helps, then good, I'm happy to do that. But in the long term, you really want to be shadowing with someone who speaks at a normal speed. I mean, I'm speaking at a normal speed, but I'm speaking a little bit more clearly than perhaps some other English speakers might. So anyway, I will I will do that. It's no problem. Um, in fact, I might just uh, use the lyrics of some of these songs to let you uh, shadow uh, with me. Okay, well, that's it for me for the moment. Expect the shadowing. It's coming your way soon. If it's snowing where you are, uh, do take care when you're going out. And I'll catch up with you all again soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.